I remember being terrified. I can't even remember what happened. It was my first time on TV. And I just remember Brendan Lovegrove, who's a good friend of mine, he goes, just go out there, mate, do your thing. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, hello, hello. And it was a typical Auckland crowd where they didn't laugh. And I thought, oh man, I haven't done that well. I did the initial John Campbells for Brotown because they couldn't get him. And then he heard someone was doing John Campbell, so then he replaced me. Taika and uh, Lauren, who'd wrote it, they thought, gee, Cohen would be good at those impersonations, but I did them so well. Tiger's like, no, you need to do them badly because that's a comedy. And I was like, but that's not funny. That was such a treat to, to play David Doherty. I never got to meet him, which was a shame. Uh, he, he's very shy in real life. And uh, all I had was kind of news footage of him. I have to tell him that I've slept with his wife and he knows that and he's sitting in the car. And then halfway through the first take, he goes, get out of the car. And my brain goes, that's not in the script. And he goes, Get out of the car now. Tiger's storyboarding. It's got his lines there. People are talking to him about, hey, we need this. This has to be flown in from Auckland and stuff. And he looks at me and he goes, what are you doing? So I'm learning my lines. He goes, learning my lines. He goes, I'm learning my lines. I'm producer. I'm director. I'm coffee maker. Would you like a coffee? It was just, I mean, that's what he does. He's a machine. Top of the Lake was one of the first, like, yeah, real kind of baddie roles I got to play and Jane Campion's just just amazing process of her um, directions incredible and they they gave this mullet to me put a mullet on she insisted I have a mullet to look even more trashy and then the suit and then I said jokingly I said I need to have gumboots hey and she goes oh my god that is so great and I was like serious we're serious in gumboots I actually stressed out that it was going to be like the Billy T. James show and they go, who's this Maldi fellow making fun of Maldi's men? And people would start slashing my tyres and I was doing karakias and just going, oh no, this is going to be terrible, what's going on? And then I went gangbusters in the rehearsal and walked Sam Neill. And when you're not prepared for that and you've just come off a plane and you're on your third coffee telling jokes about how the Hurricanes are going to win the Super 15, oh, it still hurts. And Sam Neill walks in, you're like... And he's the nicest guy, the nicest guy in the whole world.